mean you know i've been spending this time before the stream um in the past couple of months really speaking to some of you and i told you to find out you know we've kind of been playing with words in my group the sovereign jewel from elite to high caliber and i wanted to really define this man and so i told you and a high ca caliber man to you is, is not superficial. It's someone who you can connect with on a soul level and more meaningful, intelligent, someone who's smart and expands your world, who can teach you and is a great listener and help problem solve. Someone who is kind, someone who's willing to do for you you know, do things for you and show you that they love you really deeply and maybe surprising you with flowers, holding you in their arms when you're crying, planning fun adventures with you, someone who gets along with your friends and someone who just understands your feelings, who, can, who connects with you well, adds value into your life and helps you get through the hard times. And you've also said that this type of man, simply a man who has his shit together. He has figured it out as far as, you know, in a way of making money. He's, he's not struggling. He's, he's either pretty educated or he does well for himself because he's worked very hard to, to pave his way or get into a good, stable position um, in life. Also, this high caliber man, he's got really good taste. He's got great taste. He likes the best of things, like he likes um, great restaurants and high caliber activities. He's also done that inner work. So he's not egotistical and he's kind in how he treats other people. And lastly, you said that he takes a high caliber man takes very good care of himself and he presents himself well. Does anyone have anything else to add or did we hit a lot of the points of this high caliber man that we're looking for? Feel free to add, Kara agrees. Okay, so how can I help you attract more high caliber men? Well, you see I've dated in very difficult dating markets for, for many, many years, um, mostly in, in Manhattan, New York City, but also you know, Miami, Europe, including like Paris, uh, Tel Aviv, and I really studied what these men want and how to become the kind of woman who attracts these men easily, as I had very specific criteria for what I wanted when it came down to choosing my own partner. And I've been married now for three and a half years to the love of my life, Josh, who makes me truly endlessly happy. He adores me. He's by far my best friend. Uh, and he was also able to maintain that quality of life that, that I was creating for myself, that I wanted for myself. And before we get into the five must-haves of attracting these high-caliber men, I want to tell you about the main tool within the abundance model of dating, which is the overarching construct for everything you need to know on how to attract more high quality men. Because it's not just about attracting more high quality at men at once. It's sort of a process. Once you tap into the abundance model of dating and you're doing the specific process for the, the inner work that I'll mention, the men that show up for you become higher and higher quality on your journey to find the one. So it's a little counterintuitive. It's not that you can just do these five things and then boom, you're going to tap into this group of high quality men. It's really more of a process oriented thing that starts to invite higher quality men into your life until you're surrounded by what I call a man funnel. Your man funnel is simply a, a group of men kind of surrounding you at any given time who are interested 
in getting to know you further to consider you for a relationship. It's also the men whom you are exploring for the purpose of having a serious relationship, uh, partnership and or marriage. The man funnel is the tool which can help you find your house high caliber man this year. And that's it. I'm going to help you understand how the man funnel can help you attract more high caliber men now and how you can utilize your man funnel to help you meet, attract, and marry your soulmate quickly or get to the goals of having your partner quickly. And you might be saying, but Megan, I can rarely even find any man that I want to date. Let, in, let alone multiple men that I find attractive or who want to pursue me at the same time. Like I barely like anyone, okay? But I want you to know that the man funnel, it's really it's simply the mindset of the man funnel that helps shift your mind off of focusing on the goal and get you to simply do the work that I need you to do in granular steps steps of the system so that you're taking the proper action that can inevitably get you to your goal. So this process has a way of shifting you into giving off your most desirable type of energy, which helps make you magnetic in the dating process. And I've seen this over and over again with my, my clients and how this has increased for magnetic powers of attraction. I get calls one of my recent success stories, um, uh, Selena, who I had sent to you guys in, in an email, she had said to me that her, um, you know, men, you know, men were noticing her in a different way. And this is what I commonly hear from my clients, that men are coming out of the woodwork, or I tell them men start showing up out of nowhere, or a man falls out of the sky after tuning these love pillars, okay, that's a whole other lesson. But the, the pillars for love that I talk about, after these are tuned and they get tuned by going through the process of using the man funnel in the abundance model of dating. And I hear this from my clients that these men just start showing up. So if you're thinking, if you're one of those who nobody had said it in the chat box, but if you're one of those thinking, how can I create a man funnel, Megan, when I can't even get a date? Or some of you might even be afraid to date over like in general okay and the mindset of the man funnel are we're going to help you step out basically get your feet wet before jumping in okay because dating can you can get your heart slapped in many cases without the skills that you need without the without dating tools okay so we're going to get into the five things that you really need to consider immediately to start filling your man funnel with more high caliber men. Now, a couple of these are really, really obvious. However, I found that a lot of, a lot of you women who I'm speaking to are, are overlooking them, okay? So the first two are, uh, may seem a little bit obvious and then we're gonna get to a couple of the deeper ones after that. Number one, what is your proximity to high caliber men? Who are you surrounding yourself with? Where are you looking for men? What actions are you taking, if any, to get in front of the right people? High caliber men are really everywhere. And one defining factor of these men, as we had defined when I told you all in the last couple, couple months, is that these men have great taste, right? So if you wanted to bump into more high caliber men, you need to hang out in places where they may be, places that are the best, great restaurants, great hotels, wonderful events, um, metropolitan cities. And if you are far from one, there are other ways to attract more high caliber men. And this starts with your online profile and knowing exactly how to identify the right men online and where to look for them. You really need to think outside of the box and be creative. You really get what you expect. So you need to approach this 
uh, where to place yourself self strategically with an open mind. Okay, and a lot of that is your mindset. I know sometimes it's really hard to pick yourself up to get to that location or that place or that next state. But I'll tell you, I almost canceled uh, my date with my husband. That's a story for another time. Um, but I almost canceled that date and I'm really glad that I pushed myself and I went, right? <laughs> All right, we've talked about proximity. The second sort of obvious one, and we're gonna move into some deeper ways to attract these high caliber men. But number two is presentation. Although ultimately looks and clothing really have nothing to do with the intimate connection and special bond that we are all seeking with someone. However, these kind of things are proven to matter when it comes down to physical attraction, which is really how we create that spark. Getting them to the second stage of the intimate spark um, that's another story. But because these high caliber men, you know, we've all agreed that they have good taste, you also need to be aware or possibly even raise the bar when it comes to what you're offering visually in your online profile or when you show up to events and on stage. This is not something to be overlooked. He is looking for the sophisticated woman that he can bring with him on his business events and around with his workmates or other high caliber friends. I speak to many of you who want a high caliber type of man, but I'm also seeing frequently that there's a disconnect with what you're presenting to receive one. Just take a moment and kind of visualize and think of the types of men whom you're attracted. What do they wear if you walked into a room? And which, what kind of men would catch your eye? Okay, is he well-groomed? Is he wearing a great suit? Well-fitting jeans, looking, looking nice, looking fresh and clean, so, and groomed. The first way that this man is going to determine um, if he's attracted to you is how you're presenting yourself on dates. Is your look possibly over the top or leading with sexual suggestion? Or maybe you're on the other spectrum where you're muting your sensuality entirely and hiding behind an overly conservative look. Is your clothing well made and in good shape? Are you physically fit and presenting yourself as someone who loves herself enough to really stay fit and move that body. A high caliber man is going to care for himself on a high level and he's going to expect you to do the same. This is if you were trying to attract, let's say hummingbirds versus uh, blue jays, there will be different types of bird food that you would use to attract different types of birds. And the same goes for men. You really need to know how to present yourself for the specific kind of man that you want. And you need to make sure you're in the right places in real life and online. For example, if you were trying to find a toucan in the wild, you most likely wouldn't have good luck if you were trying to look for one in, in New York. But laying out the correct bird seed in a correct climate is only the tip of the iceberg. I know many of you feel frozen in dating because when you get the right man in front of you, you don't know how to move this relationship from date one to where he has sincere interest in a relationship with you and or how the commitment process starts. You may find them backing away after a certain time. He may become excited about you initially and then things always seem to fall apart. He ends up not choosing you. So let's talk about how we can increase the odds of the high caliber man you want wanting a relationship with you. This goes far beyond bird seed. The third way to attract high caliber men is to be a woman of value. 
And of course, you're all women of value, right? But are you showing up this way in your interactions with men? Sure, you can attract the men, but are you showing up in a way which tells him this one is a keeper? Or are you accidentally and subconsciously repelling him? High caliber men are seeking a woman who they consider a woman of value. A high caliber man has a high opinion of himself and he wants a woman who he considers a high value woman. What does that look like? This is a woman who knows exactly what she wants and she's not afraid to go after it. And by this, I in no way mean chasing him. This is a woman who is at ease knows how to express her boundaries clearly without drama. That's the key. This is a woman who does not play games, but she is authentically hard to get. This is a woman who's not going to drop her entire world when a man comes along because she needs to be with a man whom she knows wants what she wants and wants it on her timeline. She is going to take her time, make sure the situation is healthy before jumping in. She is an eloquent communicator and has pristine answers to the hardest and most uncomfortable dating questions that he might throw her way. She knows exactly what she wants. She knows how to express this to him in a way that he can hear. There are specific words and methods to speak to men so it, they can hear it and it goes into their heart. She knows how to set his expectations with poise and grace. All of this is extremely attractive to a high caliber man. A woman without this set of tools will not come across to him as unique or as someone he's ready to present to his high caliber community. Learning to manage your man funnel properly so you show up as a woman of value in his eyes is one of the most basic fundamental steps for attracting higher quality men. The problem is that women aren't putting the same amount of time into learning dating tools as they are into other aspects of their lives, like work leaving them less skilled in this area. Women are uneducated um, and they're making their dating decisions blindly. Okay, we're educating ourselves in so many different areas. We may be spending time increasing our fitness and everything and becoming better parents, um, working on other hobbies, getting to that next level in our business climbing that corporate ladder, but how much have you invested in time to learn more strategies in dating, okay? Women might even find this shameful, but it's the most intelligent thing that you can do because our happiness is so highly correlated to our primary relationship or the person that we choose in many ways. Probably the most um, critical decision that, that we make in our lives is a, a choosing a partner. When we don't have the skills, it can be a place of sheer anxiety where we're analyzing everything. Have you been there? We might be doing and saying things we know are damaging in the dating process, but we, we, we can't stop. We feel this urgency. We don't know what to do with this emptiness that we have inside. So we take action. We take action to control the situation, but they end up giving us less control in the end anyhow. Dating just becomes not fun anymore. And we can't even fathom dating multiple people because we like one of these men way too much to even consider it. Perhaps this man accelerated things quickly in the dating process with you and you went along with it. Feeling excited too, you were happy to meet someone you were finally attracted to, right? But now things just aren't the same. 
and you're left feeling or confused or playing the waiting game. Learning to master your man funnel properly from word one, okay? Word one, remember I'm into semantics. <clears throat> Learning to set his expectations properly and using the proper pacing, the right questions in the dating process can prevent all these little miniature heartbreaks from happening over and over and over again while on the search to find your one. Learning how to show up as the high value woman will give you the confidence to knowing that when you put your bird seed out to grow your man funnel, there's actually a point in doing so. I speak to so many of you who don't even want to start dating because you're so afraid of just getting that heart slap again and not knowing what to do when that man you like is in front of you. So it will just feel so productive. You will know how to move it toward relationship, intimate relationship, which lasts, and, and that is priceless. I see so many of you approaching the dating process backwards, and it's really time to lay the cement and the foundation on your dating processes so you can start attracting higher quality, high caliber type of men, and then keep the one you want. Okay, you keep the one you want for a deep, loving, adoring relationship. So let's move past um, those tips. And I want to talk to you about feminine energy, which I'm sure many of you have heard plenty about. But the final tip that I have for you is really knowing how to show up in your feminine energy. A high caliber man, he's really not looking for a carbon copy of himself. And this is another area where I see you falling short over and over again. And I know you're hearing so much about how you need to show up in your feminine energy today and let him lead or lean back and not chase. And of course, I know there's a time and place for that. And we, you know, you really need to know when to lean back. The fully actualized woman understands how to follow her heart or when she's being driven um, by other sources to take action, which can be damaging. So it's really important that you understand when to lean in and when to lean back. And that is truly the art of leaning back. In my work, I offer granular little steps which help you get there from the outside in and the inside out. Meaning the words you use, the energy that you use the words in, how to move, how to hold yourself. Most importantly, the deep beliefs which are sealed inside of you, which drive your impulses to express your masculine energy, even when you're trying not to. When you slip into the space, it's truly amazing how men just want to be near you and crave to be close to you. The beginning of intimacy with a man starts with you knowing how to show up as your true, authentic self, using your natural power and your gifts as a feminine woman. When you're able to show up this way, it creates the polarity needed for him to feel the way he wants to feel, the way he needs to feel in the relationship. And I'll give you a huge tip right now. A man only feels about you, it's only how he feels about you is really only half about you. And the other half is how he feels when he's around you. Okay, are you able to let go of the layers which hide your heart and show up as the truest, rawest form of yourself in order to help him have the emotional experience that he's seeking, okay? Imagine being able to shed any pretenses and, and just be loved for the woman that you are. What would it feel like in your heart to have your heart and his heart fusing together emotionally, intimately with an unbreakable bond? 
which just simply laugh. You won't have to worry about divorce or a breakup. You just won't have to worry about that anymore because you will have a solid foundation to build a solid partnership that lasts for the long run. So if this sounds like you, I want to talk to you about my upcoming Master Your Man Funnel Boot Camp. This camp specifically is for women who are looking to attract high caliber men and who are serious about meeting, attracting, and even marrying their high caliber man in 2018. If you are a woman who wants to start the new year with a custom master plan to attract high caliber men, and you want to know how to move past and move the relationship forward past the first date, to the second date, to the third date, to the third month, into a warm, loving, deep, and adoring relationship this coming year, then this is the camp for you. You know, when I was just in coaching school three years ago, I asked three women if I could practice my brand new tools on them. And I said, I just was shaky and I had been, I, I learned, I went to coaching school under the woman who changed my life. So I'd already had a ton of this practical knowledge, brought in my own ideals and I, I like I said, I dated like that well-oiled machine in, in Manhattan. And I was able to, when I made that decision that I would be married this year, I put everything into play and it worked. But then being on the other end of it and coaching women, you know, it was scary. And I asked three women, I said, can I just practice on you for free? And three of these women said, yes. One of them hadn't gotten past a third date in about three years. One of them had not had a boyfriend in a decade. Um, the previous one also hadn't had a, had a relationship, like a boyfriend in seven years. And same with the other one. It was around seven, eight years. But she was too embarrassed to even tell me. Okay? There's a lot of shame around this. But they took me up on my offer. And the results really surprised me. These women who hadn't had a relationship in almost a decade, in almost a decade, all three, three out of three of these women met a man for a serious relationship within three months. And two of the women are now married. One just had a baby recently. The other one, I went to her wedding in August. Okay. Uh, the other one had lived with their boyfriend for like a year after that, after not having a, having a man in her life for nearly a decade. And that's when I knew that I had to help more women with this and, and that's why I'm creating this boot camp because um, now this is going to give me the opportunity to help so many more of you in a really fun transformational environment. So the camp is uh, it starts the week of January 1 and the camp is eight weeks long. There will be a necessary, every single week, there'll be a lesson that is absolutely necessary for your success in the dating process and relationship process. And there'll be homework and a really, you know, it's a boot camp, but the benefit of having women and healing with other women are so, are so profound and powerful. This is going to be a safe and fun environment where we go over all of this, but we are just going to have a great time. So it will be touching, but it will be a great place to be. And I want to invite you all for um, to examine the camp, and I'll send over a message with the information. Um, but it starts on January 1, and the price will be increasing across December, you know, my one-on-one -on -one coaching has gotten to the point where, you know, it's a pretty large investment at this point and it's not for all women, but I wanted to make something available um, at a lesser price point. And right now camp is 999. 
with a payment plan. So what that looks like is, and I'll send the page for you all to look at, and we can look at it together in case you um, want to secure your spot. It's halfway full already, and this is really my first training and the first time I'm announcing this on a training. So um, if you want to secure your spot, all you need to do is send in your first payment, which is either 147 or 227 depending on which payment plan you choose. I wanted to make this an in-reach price point for, for, for everybody so I can give you that opportunity to meet your high caliber man this year. So does anyone have any questions about anything in the training? You can unmute yourself and I'll open the floor to your questions about the training tonight um, and or the camp and your spot in the camp and how this is going to help you. Uh, I'm, the camp is eight weeks. I'm not saying you're gonna meet your person within the eight weeks, although it's entirely possible. What I want you to do is gather these skills and, and um, start shifting into where you need to be to attract him. There's really no such thing as luck and love. It's really, you know, as Cher said, <laughs> when you're ready, as grass can grow through cement, love will find you. And when you are tuned for love, it just really does find you. So whatever those blocks are that you have, we'll be able to uncover them and really free up your heart to shine that light out into the universe, which will, you know, your message is out to that universe or whatever that divine source is that you, you know, that that you believe is out there or not. Um, there's just something about when you have your messages sent correctly, how you get what you're looking for back. But we don't, you can't really, it's very hard to examine that on your own. And I'm really, I'm trained uh, through my experience to get inside and figure out what these blocks are that are sending these haphazard messages out, which are bringing you unavailable men, possibly, or men that want to hurt you, or having these, um, and actually the messages, the subconscious ways that you're communicating with men that tells them loud and clear that you are not the high value woman. And it's all accidental, but they have a literal radar to be able to determine if you are someone that they see as this high value woman, as this uh, someone that they feel is the one. And they can pretty much figure that out right away. So you want to you wanna have these skills in your back pocket even before you're out there um, dating uh -huh. because the words, the very first words matter and, and your energetic projection you can really feel if you are that high value mate that he's um, looking for or, or not. So let me see if you, you guys can, um, if you can see the links that I've sent over I mean, you can click on that and I'll just let you know that it's going to be um, anyone who puts in their payment now while we're on the phone or a their first payment today will receive a private coaching call with me which we can split into two parts and that really um, those spots are pretty filled up by the women that are already in the camp camp is half full already and um, so I just have really a few more opportunities to offer that extra help and I want to offer it to whoever's really ready to commit to me and wants to do this process together um, I want to commit to you and just really ensure your success in 2018 if love is is what you're looking for I, I'm committed to doing whatever I can to to get you there and I'm so excited to to take you all there so if you want to unmute, I see that you you all, a lot of you are still here, and I just want to see if you have any questions. So um, I'm going to unmute you. Karen, you're still there. Oh, Susanna, hi. I'm just seeing you now. Hey, Nat. Um, I'm not sure who that person is, but feel free to say hi and unmute your microphones at this point in time. Grab your spot, like I said, um, if that's done today on the call, 
um, you can receive after your first payment is put in. And these are all extremely palatable payments that are broken down in very low um, increments because I want everybody to get the support that they need. If things are not working out for you, the wrong men are showing up for you, okay? If you're getting into many relationships that end up being painful, um, you know, these miniature relationships can take up a whole year of your life. So even if you're not in a hurry to meet your man this year, just think about how much more skill you'll have by streamlining the process. And then what happens? You don't get the skills, but then you end up liking a man anyway, and it doesn't work out. And then you wish that you had the skills on the back end. So this camp is going to take you through everything you need to know from showing up to a new love language that will help him hear you and it will help connect his heart with your heart. That's really the glue that holds the relationship together. But unfortunately, we're just not taught how to communicate with men. I mean, through films and through, um, you know, all sorts of media, we're just shown, we're just shown another way. And what we're using to be successful in our careers, our action-oriented qualities and all these skills, we're, we're bringing them, we think they're transferable skills, we're bringing them into our primary relationships, right? But then we have a, this metal on metal, um, sort of the uh, a uh, budding of the heads, so to speak, within our relationships. And this causes this lack of polarity or lack of attraction over time. And he starts to back away, even if he really, really saw you as the one initially. Okay, that will change. And the reason why that's changing is because even though you've heard so much about feminine energy, you still actually have no granular step of how to shift yourself into that space from the inside out. Okay. Does anyone have any questions? Kara says a little later in 2018 would be better. Um, I'm not sure, Kara, how, when the next um, course will be coming out uh, as far as this camp. So I can't say that for sure for now, but the, there's a very, you know, the calls are recorded and there's flexibility. And um, if you do the course now, Kara, later in 2018, you may already be um, dating your soulmate high caliber man. So does anyone else, I heard someone else ask a question. Okay, what happens if you've already done so much internal work I'm worried that I just keep doing the internal work and I'm still stuck. I hear you. Um, you know, your issue, Karen, could possibly just be some of the actual dating skills. Like maybe you have done the inter internal work. I also, I help you to determine, you know, this isn't psychotherapy and you can read a lot about skills. You can, that's a great question. You can read so much and, and do therapy, but there's actually, you need to shift your internal belief system in order to have success in dating. And this is not really what uh, um, psychotherapy does. In fact, one of my recent clients was a psychiatrist and I work with people in the mental health field all the time. And I love having them as clients because we can really, you know, we just understand each other really well and we can move through. There's like barely any resistance towards things that I want them to do and they eat it all up. Um, so ask yourself, Taryn, have you done specific things to make shifts in your internal belief system? Because it's these shifts that must be made in order to have success in dating. And the way that I, that I walk you through this process, when I say from the inside out and the outside in, right? Um, it's also by giving you the very specific dating skills, okay? So there's so many coaches that, you know, they really talk a lot of crap about rules and strategy and guidelines. And I'm just not one of those coaches because I believe that if you're on this call um, and you're working, you work with a coach who tells you to like follow your heart and do what you, whatever you feel, you're being led in the wrong direction because of your inner belief system. It's going to lead you to do 
and act in certain ways which are not perceived as high value as a man uh, from the man's radar that I mentioned, right? So, so if you're doing those things it's because there's still beliefs inside that need to shift. So I actually give you guidelines and rules um, to consider. Of course, at the end of the day, you're making your own decisions out there. But I give you the behaviors and the words and the guidelines and the strategies and the body position, all this stuff. So then, Taryn, you start actually having better luck with men. What does this do? This is what I mean on the out, from the outside in. You actually start to believe in yourself. Your inner, inner belief system starts to change because of the luck you're having, which builds your confidence, which helps you start to believe that you're more worthy, okay? So that is one way that we shift it. So it's, it's really not just inner work that we're doing. Um, it's a lot of outer work too in that regard and the way we're interfacing with these men. And that's truly my passion. Actually, it wasn't even the inner work stuff, um, wasn't even how I started coaching it was really with practical things and uh, a lot of ways to stabilize your heart and anxiety and helping you shine your heart so you can show up as your best quality you but it was only literally down the road where I learned to help women um, polish off and um, sh make these inner shifts too because I realized that that was like a little missing link in my coaching even though I still had a high success rate then when I first started as mentioned three out of three of those women who hadn't had a relationship in nearly a decade all got into a relationship within three months of doing that work. But I guess the inner work part, to answer your question, Taryn, is more of like a recent thing um, that I just studied, you know, not even in the first year of coaching, but the, the second two, where I wanted to make sure I was giving everybody from soup to nuts everything that they really would need so they wouldn't have to keep going out um, and gaining more information but it doesn't mean that you're not going to have to be committed to the tools. It's the people who are committed to the tools and then continue to get on their own parents that have the success um, over time. I'm not expecting you and I'm not telling you, oh, you're going to meet your soulmate on the ninth week of boot camp. That could happen, of course. Um, but what I want you to do and um, what I'm going to ask you to commit to do is open your heart to certain tools and things that might feel really weird at first, or you might even think are stupid, but I'm going to ask you to take this risk with me and try it. And then I'm going to ask you to commit to that. And that's when you'll see the magic. It's a good one. Okay. You said, thank you. So hopefully that answered your question. I've got a couple of New Yorkies here. I haven't heard from you all. All right, Carol, you dated a man one and a half years ago, and he's calling again. What do you suggest? Let a man back into our life, Carol. Things can repeat themselves. I think the first step is you need to truly define what it is you're looking for and make sure that's clearly communicated. And then, yes, you could speak to him, but certainly don't invest a lot of your time until you really know that he wants what you want. Okay? So be warm. Don't be bitter when they come back if you're truly interested in them. If you know in your heart that this is not a man of integrity, uh, integrity on your level, Carol, then don't let him back in because you're bored or something um, or because of scarcity. I really want you to define what you want and take more risks and get out there to meet more options. So you don't have to like recycle a man, right? But sometimes a man is coming back because it's timing. So it's not all bad. It's just that you need to, to if this is a, a good man and you know he's a good man, then um, you may just want to consider that, but be a little more cautious this time. And certainly don't be exclusive with him until uh, you have an idea of what he wants and Billy's title says, Carol, you're my girl. You're my girl, and I made a mistake, and you're my girl forever. That would be fine. Then you can lose the exclusivity, right? Does that answer your question? Okay, cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to sign off. I have a little, little one saying come home, but they're all still here, so... 
we will talk soon. So good to see you all. That was very fun. Okay, here, question. Oh, talk soon, Nat. Thanks for joining, dear. And um, I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.